What if I told you India had flying machines? Thousands of years before airplanes. In the Ramayana, Ravana didn't ride chariots pulled by horses. He had the Pushpaka Vimana, a flying palace gifted by Lord Kubera. It could fly in any direction, change altitude instantly, and even respond to mental commands, like today's voice AI, but more advanced. It didn't need fuel, didn't need a runway, and certainly didn't need horses' fuel or wings. After Ravana's defeat, Lord Rama used the same aircraft to return from Lanka to Ayodhya. Yes, Diwali celebrates that. Legendary return. Sounds like science fiction? Wait till you hear this. Ancient Hindu texts describe Vimanas with aerodynamic shapes, propulsion systems, and even anti-gravity tech. Some Sanskrit verses mention metals like tamogarbha, similar to modern stealth alloys. The manuscript mentions engines using mercury and magnetic fields, very similar to how ion propulsion works in NASA's space. Tech today, they describe vertical takeoff, like today's helicopters and drones. There's even mention of energy shields and anti-gravity force, something we're still trying to understand in modern physics. Were these just imagination or lost technology? Is ancient mythology is the future of science? Hit like, share, and follow for more such ancient tech stories.